twisted in your grill. You look so sick, cause I'm looking so sick. Hi, I'm Lenora Claret. I'm here with Hey at the Vivid Valentine's, Valentine's Day, Day party. party. So we're gonna go behind the green door, very appropriate, and see what's inside. So what are your plans for Valentine's Day? We're gonna have sex, I know that. I don't know with who yet, but maybe go hiking. Well, if you could do a shoot with anybody, who would you like to shoot with? Right now, it would be Jelena Jensen. I shoot with girls and I just love big natural boobs. It's a fetish I have lately. I have big natural boobs. I, I noticed when I walked in and Yay. I love it. I Boobs. So besides big natural boobs, what else do you enjoy? I enjoy, well I'll just say in my personal life, I enjoy a big thick cock. <laughs> I hope you enjoy your hike in the big thick cock tomorrow. I hope I get it. Do you have anything special planned for Valentine's Day? My Valentine's Day present to him was we went and had a private ceramic wheel spinning lesson session. So we both made like pots and vases. That's like very Patrick Swayze and ghost. That's exactly what I wanted. <laughs> So I actually met you a year ago at Valentine's Day at the World of Wonder party and it makes me so happy to see you and you and Sunny are still together. You want to know how you make it work? Just make sure you fuck each other really good. Forget everyone else. That's work. Make sure at home, sex is amazing. So we have the beautiful AJ here. Hi. So what are your plans for Valentine's Day? I am filming. My next movie is a ninja movie at my request. So I'll be uh, spending the entire day on set. Did you just say a ninja movie? Yeah. It's going to be like Kill Bill, sort of. Like, I'm avenging. You know, like death, and you know, I'll be held captive, you know, and like violated, and I'll sleep with people to get my way and get information. So I'm spending my Valentine's Day. My Valentine is gonna be my uh, talent tomorrow, Scott Nails. <laughs> what's something you absolutely wouldn't do in a movie? Like, what's a big no no? No butt stuff. But that's because everything I do in my professional life, I do in my personal life. So if I don't do it in my personal life, I'm not gonna do it on screen. I don't care how much you pay me. So I don't do anything in the butt. Even when guys will be like, you know, I'm like, no, no, thank you. I've tried it and it's not for me. <laughs> so what kind of porn do you like to watch when you're at home? I don't really like to watch it anymore, only because I know everyone in it. So it's just too weird. But um, I like rough, rough porn. And what's the difference between English men and American men? American men are hot. So <laughs> they're all tanned and muscly, they've got big cocks. English, uh, that's very limited. I used to live in England with my English boyfriend, and I have to say that I, I my experience, they're a little kinkier in England. Have you noticed that? Do you reckon? Mine was. Mine was. <laughs> he was looking. Yeah, right? <laughs> that's why he imported me, I guess, for yeah, that exactly. reason. Yeah. So you have the best job in the world, don't you? I love my job. I get to have sex with beautiful women every day. So how did you get started in the industry? Three years ago, I was struggling for money, and I got myself in. <laughs> so what are your plans for Valentine's Day? I'm going to be a lonely buck on Valentine's Day. What? That's crazy. I'm working. I get to have sex on Valentine's Day. <laughs> you know what I mean? Are there any like sex tips you can give for men? Listen to your woman. Listen to her breathe and her heartbeat and maybe you can figure out what exactly she likes and be passionate and really look into her in her eyes and you can just see what she needs and wants and I really think that's what I do for a woman so maybe that can help anybody out there. Yeah, so I love that you're romantic. That actually sounds really sweet. Yeah, I'm a hopeless cool. romantic, I guess. <laughs> Hi. You're super cute. Hello. I'm good. How are you? So do you have any special plans for Valentine's Day? I don't actually. I have a dinner plans with a friend and I have lunch plans with a friend and probably shopping in between to help put all my worries and my sadness away from not having a boyfriend this year. So how did you get involved in the industry? I fell into it, an ex-boyfriend that was already in it. So what kind of movies do you enjoy watching? I don't actually watch porn, but if I had to, like I like Girl Girl. If you could do a scene with anybody in the world, who would you want to do one with? My best friend Carmel Moore, because we haven't done a scene together, and it would probably be really good. Have you noticed any kind of like trends in the industry, or any kind of new? Blonde and boob always though. So. Like a classic stand My hair would be black. I love that, I love that you have the pink, that's very cute. Yeah, we love color, right? Absolutely. I know we're probably staying in a lot of bathtubs, but it's totally worth it. Right, 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 right. <laughs> Special plan for Valentine's Day? Actually, it's kind of sad, Moose. My Valentine's in Afghanistan. We're going to Afghanistan. So, I'm going to go to my local strip club and sob and have a good time. <laughs> so, what kind of porn do you enjoy to watch? I like a typical anything that has a plot. I like to get involved with the characters. I want to get involved and be like, oh, I hope the ship wrecks and then they find a zerdown and they have to fuck their way off of it. Or, excuse me. Or, like, girl, girl, like, gangbangs. 
stuff like that, yeah. Monica Baham, you, do you earn your name? You know, I'm a troublemaker, no. <laughs> so what's the craziest thing that's ever happened to you on set? I had my foot up a girl's pussy, I peed in a guy's mouth, I've had five guys fucking cock slamming me all at once, yeah. I've, there's been a lot of crazy things happen on set. I guess I'll have to get the book so I can read about it. You will read all about it, trust me. <laughs> like the ultimate makeup artist all the girls? Mostly hair. I do hair extensions. What are some tricks that I could do to like sex myself up if I'm going out? Like what's like tool of trade? You want to sex yourself up? You're already to the fullest sexy. I love you. And my favorite thing about Vivid is it kind of reminds me sort of like the old Hollywood studio system. How you're, the girls are sort of taken care of which is really nice. It was like a family. Um, it's a family. Yeah. It's a family. You know I'm close to the girls and you know I mean I spend a lot of time with them so I mean it's, it's in everyone's best interest for us to behave like a family and it really works out better. I mean I worked there for 17 years so. so. If somebody wanted to break into porn specifically at Vivid, how would they best get your attention? They could either send in pictures or they go through agents or just call the office, walk in, doors always open. Very cool. I love that. It's an open policy. Very cool. Thank you so much. Lenora, that was fantastic. That was great. Are they all really like open and uh, eager to talk? I thought I'd hear more like horror stories. They weren't, there. nobody really wanted, not horror, horror stories. Oh my god, that was the best VD I ever had. <laughs> totally. We had a great time. Daily Freak Show out. Why you looking all twisted in your